G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look, I've got a new mold that I designed. It's based on those um, hand blown little hearts that you can get. But uh, because we want to pour resin into them, obviously they're going to have flat on one side, but the other side is, uh, is lovely and curved. It's quite deep. Haven't used it before, so really keen. So they come like this if you buy one. They're in my eBay store. They come like that, packaged just with a fork. And it's got, I've designed it so it's got this um, built in loop there, which I thought would be really nice. This, I think these are going to be more like a, a natural, sort of a rustic kind of um, item that you can make, I guess. Because um, I envisaged like putting dried flowers in it or maybe crystals. You could have it clear, you could have a, a top coat, whatever. Um, now, uh, probably about six or eight weeks ago on AliExpress, I ordered some um, little iridescent glass beads. Heaps of different colours. I think I ordered eight packs and they never arrived. And it only occurred to me yesterday that I haven't got them. Although it says on my uh, account that I have got them, but I haven't. But in the meantime, and she didn't even know, the lovely Susanna Danks from Lorez Expression sent me these. So I'm going to use those today. I think they're pretty much the same as what I had ordered. So they're um, iridescent glass beads from Lorez. So I'm going to try those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some clear in first, probably about halfway. Let that set. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put some iridescent beads on um, and then because I don't want black over the top of the beads I'm going to come and put a tiny little clear layer again over the top then I'm going to it's going to be a few steps then I'm going to dust them with this um, with a chameleon pigments and you've seen me do those with my um, crushed velvet um, coasters and things and then just pour on some black resin so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm just going to make sure these are clean. Get my tape out. I, mean, I haven't used them before, but look how deep they are. <laughs> my finger goes right down into it. My oh, gosh. I think I made them one and a half centimetres deep. And um, But yeah, like I said, I, I want to try some like little... Um, dried flowers. I think a dandelion would look amazing, but I don't have any. I don't know where to get a dandelion from, but I have to go for a drive and see if I can find any. But yeah, just things like that I think would be really pretty. Um, now, my resin is just sitting in some warm water just so it gets nice and thin. I've decided if I'm doing a top coat on something, I'm not going to put it in water because I think the, like the steam from the hot water comes up and it might change um, or react with the resin and then give you that sort of oil slick on the top from you know that some resins give you from humidity So but if I'm just going to do like a base coat it, it's not going to matter um, Right, let's just dry that I don't want Any dripping in there, right? So oh, I show, didn't show you the resin. Oh, it's this one that I've been using a lot lately. It's the platinum 360 plus it's um yeah I really like it it's FDA approved food grade environmentally friendly non-toxic resin so there you go that's it um, and I can demold that or put another I can demold it in like eight hours in winter probably six in summer but in a couple of hours I'll probably be able to put the next layer on or I may even come back once, I don't know how long, we'll see. I may even come back and if this is still usable in like half an hour, I might put the next layer on. It's just I don't want the beads to fall through. I want them to look as if they're suspended. So when you're looking at it from the curved side, it looks as if they're just suspended. So yeah, <laughs> I made up way too much. Um, probably needed half that. All right, so um, that's it for the first layer. You've probably got a little bit more than you need. So yeah, um, I just need to have enough in there 
to pop the little beads down. I'm just going to do one layer of beads over the top of that. Actually, maybe I need a little bit more. Uh, one layer of beads over the top of that, and then when it's dry, I'll come back and um, put another little layer on because, like I said, I don't want I don't want the beads to be like swimming in black. I want them to be standing on their own, and then the black sitting on top. So that's why I think I'm going to have to do this. Wait for it to dry. Put a layer of beads in. Wait for it to. Oh no, no, that's fine. Look, yeah, I can do that. I can wait for this to dry. Put the beads on. Make up a little bit more resin and put those in straight away, and it it'll, it'll just sit over the top of them, engulf them, surround them, encapsulate them, <laughs> and then when that's set, come and do the black. So I'll do that. Yep, that's what I'll do. Let's give it a little little torch there for bubbles. Use a tiny little torch if you're going to use a torch because it's got a little tiny end there and a little tiny little flame just in the middle. All right. Okay, so that's about all I can do now. I have to find something else to do with this. Oh, I guess I could do some more. Yeah, let's do another one. I could change colours. I could put something else in it, I guess, rather than waste it. Hey than waste it. Maybe I can find some, um, I've got lots of little things to put in. Don't you worry about that. Lots of little things to put in. All right, let's go. Don't need to clean it because it's just come straight out of its little bag. I'll have to think about what I want to do in these ones now. Have a little look in my drawers, have a little fumble through, see what I can find. I may put some, I should make sure they're all about the same. <laughs> they're really deep. <laughs> I'm not used to moulds being that deep. Okay, that's about it. You're not quite as deep. I'll make sure, I'll have a play and just make sure that they're all about the same depth. I've got, what have I got? I have got, oh, find them. I've got these little, little things. This one's got, this one's sea creatures. It's got shells, starfish jellyfish oh there's a turtle this one has got hearts and palm trees and leaves oh there's a flamingo in there what's this one oh this one's the sun and the moon stars oh there's a planet okay planetary pretty and then this one what's this one got in it I can see a four-leaf clover um, oh there's some lips there's hearts butterflies little pretty girly things there's an anchor that's not a little pretty girly thing but what else all kinds of little things anyway I might use those see what else I can find um, or maybe, where's my dried flowers? Got some dried flowers somewhere. Yeah, anyway, I'll find them. I'll find all my little bits and see what I want to do with them. All right, that's the first step. I'll see you for the next step. Right, well, guys, I'm back. Now these are set up enough for me to put the next layer on. So um, let's do it. I also found some um, some more dried flowers. I've got blue ones and red ones and this is like a mix. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these but I did find these gold stickers so I might do one with like a gold sticker thingy and then put a couple of these around it. So we'll see just to use those up. But Let's get on with our little glass beads. Um, 
need a little teaspoon actually. You get that. There we go. Should have been organized, shouldn't I? But I'll just put the little scoop on. I haven't made up my clear resin yet because I I thought I oh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to put everything else in, and I didn't want to waste. I didn't want my resin sitting there going hard. It's a big one. <laughs> I'm just going to get it out of the way. It's a bit big. All right. Here we go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty easy to do, isn't it? That's the next step. A little sprinkle. I hope I haven't put too much clear in. I hope I got room for my next couple of layers. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I don't need very much of the black. This needs to be a very thin layer of the black, but I do need to put the clear on next. Spread them out. Try and do it evenly if possible. You can sort of feel with your finger, you know, where you need a little bit more or if one of them, the section is a bit higher than the other section. So good to get in there with your fingers. <laughs> All right, how are we going with that one? Hope I've left enough room. This one needs a little bit more. I hope these turn, oh, I hope they turn out really pretty. I hope so. I think that's enough. Let me just pick these few up that I've spilt, put them in. Mm, where can you go? There, you can go there. All right, I think that will do. That looks pretty. Still got lots left. So hopefully just enough to, like a little bit of room, just to drizzle in some clear to fill those holes, make it smooth, and then I'll put the black on. Right, let's do some flowers, shall we? I've never done dried flowers before. So not quite sure. I've seen people do them. Get out of there. I don't even know if I'm going to use you, but get out of there anyway. I've got some tweezers. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Little fern looking thing. Maybe if I just break a bit off. Mm, kind of put you, put you there. It's kind of following the curve. And it's a pretty flower. Oh, they're all pretty, aren't they? This one's actually maybe some of these. <laughs> There's too many things to choose from. Look at that. That one's pretty too. Mm, maybe we'll do him. Let's do a little bit of these. These look pretty. I didn't realize these were in here until I opened it up. I might just snap that off. And put that like that. <laughs> oh, I want to do all of them in blue now. Mm, that can just go there. Fill in that little spot there. I was going to put this in, but I've got, haven't got enough room. Okay, well, I just have to leave it for another day. What about this little white thing? Actually, does it matter that I've put them on upside down? Does the back look any different? I guess not. I didn't really think about that, that I'm putting them upside down or not. Probably does look a bit different. Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now, oh, I want to put one of these in. Oh, wow, this is so much fun. I can tell I'm going to get addicted to putting dried flowers in. I can put that in or I can put that sort of over the top. It might be a bit much. Oh, excuse my husband. 
is out there with the um we're doing some landscaping <laughs> it's got the chainsaw going i think i'll just put that in the middle there actually you know just to actually i'll just put it down there like so and then another one of these i think just tuck him in there there we go all right that's the blue done how's that look i'll move that out of the way move it out of the way all right what have i got next some of the red ones hey oh i like that little thing there I mean, you could go with a big one like that and just have one in there, couldn't you? But um, I should pull this little card out, shouldn't I? Now, that's obviously the front, so we'll turn him upside down because you can see that that's the back. What else am I going to put in there? I'll put him over here in this corner. So I don't know if I want to put black over the top of those or whether I just want to fill them up with clear. I think I'll, I think I'll just fill them up with clear, actually. I think that's what I'll do. And then what about this little guy here? Turn him upside down. And put him... Where will I put him? I'm going to put some of these in first. I don't need all that stick, though, so let's break that off. And I'll do it the right way this time. I'll turn it upside down. <laughs> Actually, if I put that, if I put that there, then this little guy can go. There, I guess. Something like that. And what else? What else? Oh, look, there's no, there's just a stick. <laughs> it's just a stick. I kind of need something in that little gap there. I don't really want to put any greenery in. I'm just going to put that little little flower. Just there. There we go. All right, that's enough of that one. This is fun. Whoops, get back in there. Moving on. All right. Hmm. I think I've got enough flowers. Now, I want to try one of these. What size is going to work? Probably not the biggest one. Kind of like, kind of like this design. I just, I searched on eBay. I searched gold flowers, I think, is what I searched. See, that, that's left behind. Probably need to just tidy that up a little bit. So you don't you want some of those middle pieces to come out. I don't know that all of them need to come out, but I think that'll do. Now what's the back look like? So I'm gonna have to stick this down upside down. And sticky sides on this side. A little bit fiddly just getting those extra pieces out okay so now I'm just going to where will I put you that you'll fit are you going to fit uh, put you off to the side a little bit I think like so so my resin's still a little bit tacky so that's actually going to stick down nicely so that's really pretty that's done now because it's a leaf Let's see what we can find in in these. Okay, that's the ocean ones. What's this one? I know I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw a leaf. It's a bit hard to tell. Oh, then no, this one's got the leaves. Look at that. There's a leaf. How do I pick it up? Oh, got him. Go. look at that there's a little leaf mm, well she might be easier just to um 
get my other little my little doobalacky. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Just gonna dip the end in some water over there. And let's see if I can pick him up. <laughs> nope, I thought maybe I could pick him up, but not really. A little bit difficult to pick up. How are you supposed to get them out? Let's pour some in there. Just a few. And I can see what I'm doing. Come out. Oh my gosh. How do you get these things, guys? <laughs> there we go. I licked my finger. I got it. I've got it. I'm just going to put a little tiny palm tree there. There we go. And there's a little four leaf clover. Let's pop him in there. I'll probably put black against these. What else can I put in there? That little thing, I don't know what it is. I need another leaf, there's another leaf. Picking up the palm tree at the same time. There we go. And one more. One more. What will I put in? There's a flamingo. Just got to be careful to put him in the right way. There. Oh, look, it might be a little bit tacky. I don't know, but... I wanted to put something in there. Now, where did these come from? There. I'll put you back. Now, what am I going to do in the last one? Um, decisions, decisions. Oh, look, I'll just put this flower in. Little daisy thing. That'll look pretty. I might put a bit of greenery in with it. So we'll turn him upside down. And I just put it in the middle there. Push it down so it's kind of stuck. Mm, I don't know that I've really got room for anything else. No, let's just leave it. Less is more. Okay, I think that's me done. Now I'm going to make up some resin real quick, some clear. And then I'm going to come and pour it over the top. So bear with me. I'm back. Trying to put you on autofocus. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Hard to do things when you've got gloves on. Zoomed you in a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of clear on these and that. And then I'm going to fill these three up with clear because they can have clear right up to the top. So here we go. Just a little bit. Got to leave room for my black. It's basically going in between all those little glass beads. I'll let it spread on its own for now. But, um, I'll come back and just make sure it's spread out. And then these little gorgeous creatures can go right up to the top. Now, are you going to go in there by yourself? Don't be scared. It's okay. Yes, it is. Off you go. Le um, resin's self-leveling, so it finds its own level and should, if it's thin enough, it should find its own little way, you know, through everything. Any little nooks and crannies that are there. Right, now you're off to the edge there, so you're okay. You need a little bit more just to cover those beads. And 
and you too. And I think that's done. I'll just push this to the edges. Hasn't gone into the little loops yet. That's okay. That can just be the black resin going in there. Just make sure they're up against the edges here. Try not to disrupt my beads too much. I'm hoping that they will still do their little iridescent thing, um, even though they're covered in resin. So I'm hoping, we'll see. Now you need a little bit more because it hasn't gone into the loop just there yet. So let's put another bit there. Got to be in the loop, hey? And then I'll bring it up to the, the top so that it domes. So we don't want any little sharp edges, do we? Oh, you're floating. You're not supposed to do that. Didn't I stick you down properly? Might not have. I thought they were all stuck down. I guess it's because I put that little one on top of the others. I think that's probably why he didn't have he didn't have very much surface contact with the with the sticky resin. So that's probably why he's floating. Now let's torch, 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 torch. I did have my resin sitting in some warm water. Now where's my little duvalaki? I call him a duvalaki because I don't know what he's called, but he's really helpful. I'm just going to actually push him down into that resin. I don't want anything floating away. Okay, there we go. Oh, my little end just fell off. I was cleaning it on some paper towel and it just fell off. Never mind. It's done his job. All right, now let me see if I can just fill these up a little bit more. Push it to the limit. Make sure that your table is nice and level so that everything is filling evenly. Now I do have something I need to do with just a tiny little bit of resin, so I'll keep that. And I want these to dome, because the resin will shrink a little bit as it dries and sets. We don't want that little lip, do we? I think that's it. I don't want to go overflowing it, so be careful. Alrighty, that's it. I think that's all I need to do. I'll hang on to that. Now I'll need to wait for this resin to set up. So a few more hours and then I'll come and... Um, I'm going to paint, well not paint, I'm going to brush these on, one of each colour. And then we'll put the black on and I'll fill this one with black as well. The others can just be they'll, be, they'll be done. They're done. Does that look as if the red is actually, like the colour's coming off? Or is it just a illusion? I don't know if it's actually changing the colour of the resin. Or maybe it's like, yeah, it could be just an illusion. I'm not sure if it's just a, like a reflection of that colour. Hmm. It'd be interesting to see whether it actually hold their colour or not. All right, that's me done for the next step. I'll be back again. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this. I am. It's fun. Right, let's do the next step. These are, yep, they're dry enough to do the next step. I've just mixed up my clear resin, put some in there so that I can pinch that to pour in. But before we do the black, let's do some chameleon pigments in each of these. So I've got four hearts, I've got four pigments. This one is called Interfere It, Interfere Who, Interfere Them. And this one, I haven't used this one before, but I'm going to try it. It's called Rainbow Nori. 
So these are all chameleon pigments and they're from, come around here so that you can have a little look, close up, www.glitterandcraftsforyou.com. So I'm not sure what this one's going to do, but I haven't tried it before, so I'm going to give it a go. So the ones, the others that I've got, let me bring them up. So that one, you can kind of see the shimmer in it. And I've put on the top what colours they are. The colour mixed teal, lilac and blue. And that one you can see has got a pinky purple to it. Pink, gold, green. <laughs> Interfere it. Oh, I can see like a tealy colour, I guess. Purple, blue, turquoise. So those are the colours that we get from them. So without further ado, let's do them. Now I'll put, I'll put them in that order like this so that we know which ones are which after we've finished. So that one is there, that one's there, that one's there, that one's there. Okay, ducks. Right, so it's just a matter of brushing it on. You don't need a lot. Just do one thin layer. If you make it too thick, um, and I guess this won't really matter, but if you make it too thick, the pigments kind of um, float up to the surface when you do your top coat which is always a good idea if you're going to use these. Put your resin down first, your clear resin, and then dust the pigments on and then pour the black on last as your base coat because the pigments rise to the top um, and you don't want to see that on the front side. It's okay if they come on the back side, but you don't want them on the front side. I'm going to do that one last because it's dark. All these ones are a white powder. So I can see that one's got like a greenish shimmer to it. This one I can see like a pinky purple. And I probably don't even need to do this. I think those iridescent little glass beads are probably sufficient to create some really pretty little holographics or iridescence. But I just wanted to try this as well. I'm just Cleaning off my brush in between on some paper towel. Oh, this one's really sparkly. I don't know if I've used this one before. Which one's that? Interfere them. Maybe I have. I've used them quite a bit already. I can't remember which ones I've used. But there's lots and lots on the website. I'm getting it over the top. It doesn't matter. All right, I think that is a done. Clean that off. Now let's try this one. Mm, doesn't want to stay on as well. Oh gosh. Maybe I should have done it when my um, resin was a little bit wet still. Doesn't really want to stick on like the others are. There's no point leaving that there. It's just going to fly off. I wonder if I've got an, any on there at all. I, I don't know. Must be some left on there, surely. Okay. Um, put the lids back on. Yeah, I don't know if that one's going to work. That one didn't seem to stick on as well as the others. Maybe, um, do it like that. Yeah, maybe let the resin be slightly tacky so that it sticks better. But uh, my husband's been outside in the garden making noise with chainsaws and drills and all kinds of stuff, and I haven't been able to really come in here and work when I wanted to but hopefully he's done now because it's getting dark outside all right let's mix the black um, I've got some Lares nope there he goes 
It's dark outside, hun, and come inside. He wants to finish. Um, midnight black. So just got a little bit of resin in here. So just a little bit of black. Don't need much. I just need a tiny bit for each of these and that one there. So that's all I need. I did make up more. I've got more in there, but I need it for something else, another project that I've got going. Uh, so, yeah, I'll use that. Give that a stir. I'm a bit concerned about this one. Try and get some of that off. I've made my pretty little mould all dirty. All dirty. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hopefully I've got enough resin mixed up. These are looking really pretty. Happy with those. Hopefully there's no bubbles underneath those little petals. It's hard to see what's on the other side, but hopefully there's no bubbles there. Okay, here we go. Let's pour. I haven't had the sitting in a warm bath or anything, so hopefully it will still spread okay. Drop. Certainly does spread more evenly and faster if it's warm, but we'll see. Whee, round to go. Really looking forward to unmolding these tomorrow. It's nice that you can come and do like, you know, three coats of something um, and then unmold it the next day. So that one obviously has got much more black in it. To take it up to the top. I didn't think I'd need all that and that make up a little bit more. We'll see. You can see how the um, dust, I call it dust, is kind of floating to the top there. So that's why you don't want to do this on your the side that's going to be your top because it, it sort of makes it, well, it spoils the finish if you've got little bits of little dust floating up to the top. But this is the back, so it won't matter. No one's going to see the back. Okay, that's spread. What about you? Yep, you're done, you're done, you're... Let's give you a little bit of a hand. Those two spread for themselves. Okay, oh, that was pretty good. You guys did well. You might have just made enough. Now I'm going to just see if I can dome these ever so slightly. Can you see that dust floating on top, that interference powder? Tiny little bit more, just a few drops really. If I can just mix that in with the black that's already there. I don't think that'll matter just for a background, will it? Let's put a little bit more in there. Just want that one to dome. Now stand back and look across the top. really scraping the barrel here trying to get the last little bit out a tiny little bit more I don't probably I don't need it but I'm just just a tiny little bit <laughs> just to make those mound or dome not mound they're doming There we go. I was close. The amount I needed, just not quite there. There's only like a teaspoon out. All right, let's have a look. I think you're pretty full. Just got to do a few drops at a time. You don't want them overflowing. Yeah. 
This one needed a little bit more than the others did. What about you? Do you need some more? Okay. I think that's about it. It's amazing how much they hold. It really is. You think that you're done. And then they go, no, I can take some more. <laughs> and you think you're done. Just be really careful you don't overflow them. All right, that'll do. That will do. Now, let's torch. Now, I'm just going to get some resin off my glove there before I pick up my torch. Spray my gloves with some alcohol. Give them a wipe with the paper towel. Okay, here we go. These two look very similar, actually. I can see like a green on that and a green on that. I'll bring you down in a minute so that you can have a look, see what you think. You don't have to worry too much about bubbles because, as I said, this is the back. This is what's going to be against your skin. You're not going to see this side, so it doesn't really matter if um, you've got a few bubbles on that side. All right, let's get you down and have a little peek, a little close up at what these colours are looking like because it's probably a little bit hard for you to see from all the way up there. So this is looking at them across the top. See they're nice and full. So you can see this one here has got like a, on the left there, it's got like a pinky purple. Pink, and this one up here, oh, well, it's looking different. You're looking at something different to what I am. But anyway, you can see that's the dust that's sitting on top. This one's on the right, there's more of a gold. And then over here, we've just got that, those little flowers that I put in, which are looking really nice. There we go. Right, next step. Tomorrow morning, the grand unmolding. <gasps> so excited to see what they're going to turn out like. I don't think I've got any um, cord. Like I really wanted some brown suede cord, but I haven't got any. I'll have to buy some. Not very organized because I thought these would look really pretty with some suede cord around them. Um, like you can get white cord or like a cream or just a light tan color. I think would look really pretty, but I don't have any. I've only got black, so that'll have to do for now. All right, see you in the morning. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, I'm so, so, so looking forward to this. Wow, I've never done anything like this before. So excited. Where will we start? Where will we start? Uh, this is one of the black uh, necklace things that I've got. Oh, it's just like a cord. And then I went through my jewellery box and I found a bit of um, this one. It had a different pendant on it. So it's just that um, leather or suede or whatever. I guess it's leather. But anyway, that's what I found. So that's for these ones. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get started with this one. I've never actually seen like the curve. I haven't even ever had it made a sample. So it's going to be very exciting for me. Oh, look how deep it is. Oh, it popped out so easily. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I've got the ring light just there next to me for some better light. But if it's a pain, I'll move it. Are we ready? Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. Let me have a look through the side. Look how deep it is. Nice and puffy looking, isn't it? Okay, that ring light's doing my head in already. Let me move it. <laughs> Let me move it. I thought it was a good idea, but I don't like the little circles that you get. You know when someone's unmolding something and all you can see is this little white ring from the, the ring light? So there's that one. And it's nice and smooth. There's no lip to sand. And see, it's already got its little hanging thing. What do you call the hanging thing? All right, let's move on. Love it. Let's do this one. 
so that we'll get a nice clear finish with this one. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. I love it. So what I thought we would do with this one is, let me see if I can remember how to do this. You thread, thread through there, like so. Not sure which way I should have done it though. And then you do, you pull that through there like that. And then when you pull it up, ta-da, that's what you get. <laughs> I did it the right way. I wasn't sure whether to poke it through that way or poke it through the back, but I did it like that because I like that knot thing on top. So there you go. That's how I that is exactly how I envisage these little pendants to go. So love it. I've ordered myself some more some of these cords. Love it. All right, let's have a look at the little blue one. Oops, my hands are in the way. Let's see if I can get down here. And out comes the little blue one. Oh, look. It doesn't know what to focus on. Oh, I've got a few bubbles on that one. I thought I might. Little, they were trapped underneath. Never mind. I'm still learning. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's a bit of sticky, sticky stuff. Oh, I love how they're transparent, though. And that's how deep it is. Okay, let's do the next one. I wonder how I could stop getting bubbles. See that underneath, actually underneath the flowers? I didn't really push them down, did I? <clears throat> maybe I need to put, them, yes, I was going to say maybe I put them in wet resin, but I didn't want them sinking. This one doesn't look as bad, but that's the back. Look at that. It's got bubbles. Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple. Just love the transparency of them, though. So pretty. Okay, let's move on. Happy with the first four. Let's move on. Now I've got them in order here because I turned them around to face me. I've changed the, um, I've just moved these as well. Now this one here is Interfere It. So let's have a look at Interfere It. No, it's not. No, I've got it wrong. That had all that black smudgy stuff around it. I've got it around the wrong way. I thought I turned them all the right way. Oh my gosh. That one was the rainbow nori. Remember I sort of smudged the sides. So that was their rainbow. Let's try that one. See what that one looks like. Oh, now these have got these little glass beads in them, haven't they? Oh, I'm kind of forgetting because it was like yesterday. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope they worked. Here we go. Um, let's have a little look. Are you ready? Look at that. They're like little eggs. Oh, they're so pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? And because it's resin, it magnifies them. So they look, when you look at them through the resin, they're all magnified and look weird. It's so cute. Oh, I love the colours. So I'm I'm keen to see whether or not I'll do these again because I'm keen to see whether or not you actually have to put some um, of the pigment, like the chameleon, in, or whether they'll just do their own thing, you know, without that. So I'm keen to see how they'll do with another sort of, well, without that, just a black background. And I also want to do one with um, like alcohol inks, but make them um, make the alcohol inks sort of transparent. I want to get my hand in the way, but I don't know how to do this without getting my hand in the way. Here we go. I'll just do that. Okay, now this one, 
this one should be the interfere them that sort of pinky goldy one if I'm right okay let's have a look are you ready oh look at the sparkle on it <gasps> wow look at that it's when the light catches it you get this really pretty sparkle not doing a very good job of showing you though because it's really I'm getting a lot of glare look at that like this pink flame going through it oh look there's a little bit of pink up here as well look at that just in that little black loop there Wow, so pretty, look at that. And now we're getting that sort of tealy color. Look at the top, look at the loop there. And there's the pink, changes, hey. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's do this one. Now this one here is Interfere Who? That should be the teal lilac blue one. Okay, I'm trying to get my hand out of the way for you. Just push there. Pop out really easily. It's a little bit of a bit there that I need to sand. All right, so there we go. Let's have a look at this one. Well, this one's darker. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, I'm really happy with these. Oh, look at that. There's a bit of a goldy sparkle in there. What do you think, guys? Do you like these? Love it. <laughs> All right, last one. Now this one is Interfere It. That purple, blue, turquoise I've written on the top. Let's have a look. But yeah, I do want to try without the chameleon. Um, so I think I'll do, again, just a black. And then, like I said, I want to do the um, alcohol inks as well. I'm just not sure whether or not those chameleons are maybe detracting from the glass beads. Oh, look at that. There's some gold in there. Looks like some weird little alien creatures laid eggs. Now we get some purple and blue in it that way. And we get like a pinky hue that way. So what I thought I would do, I actually think I prefer this one. I could see, I can see that the little beads more. I don't know why it would have any difference because, I mean, the resin was dry before I put you know the um I dusted the the pigments on so it wouldn't change the look but it has changed the look it's just a reflection like it's still clear resin but it's just changed the look so what I thought I would do with these ones same again with this black here this little black cord pop it through there And then, did I do it the right way? Pull that through. Did I? No, I did it wrong. <laughs> that one was through the back. All right, I'll push it through the front. That's what I did with the other one. Push it through the front. And then pop that through the loop, like so. And then when you pull it, yep, that's how I want it. I want that little knot on top. And there we go. Look at that. And you've got yourself a gorgeous, very unique little pendant, hey? Wow, love it. This is my favourite one. Okay, I thought these would, you know, make it better, but I don't think it has. I think I prefer it just plain. 
So watch this space. Definitely going to do these little babies again. So there you go, guys. What do you think? I love them. I'll have another go at them soon because um, I've got lots of ideas of things that I want to put inside them. But yeah, for my first attempt, I think they are amazing. So these are these two with the um, little chains on them. Hope you enjoyed my little video and uh, I'll see you real soon for another one. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye for now.